morning guys welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome to my channel for the first time my name is elizabeth my husband and i bought this house like a year and a half ago maybe and i have slowly been making my way through it to make this house a home this video today is going to be about this living room transformation i started this back in like April of this year and it is now November and it is still not where I would like it to be. But um, I've decided I'm just gonna say oh well and show you guys the process so far and then if you wanna see how I continue to decorate as the months go on, just subscribe to my channel and I'm sure I will let you guys know. But getting into it, this living room, when we first toured the house, I loved the windows in this room. Giant floor to ceiling, absolutely incredible. However, this room had the same creamy beige gross looking paint on all of the walls, like the bottom trim, the top trim, the window trim, everything. The ceiling, everything was the same ugly beige color. So that needed to go. This room was in some desperate need of some love. We also had uh, the ceiling light. We only had one ceiling light here with two bulbs. One of them was burnt out. It was a gross yellowy light color anyway. Did not like that. I did go through with my dining room remodel last year, I believe it was, and paint the door white and update the hardware on the door. So that's why the door looks so new. But I decided I wanted to redo everything else in this living room. When we replaced the thermostat, you can see that they had the red paint over the blue and white checkered wallpaper. So this room was definitely in need of an upgrade since it's only been painted or wallpapered over three times in its entire life of the house. So I just wanted to come through and update everything. Some of my major goals included taking the old, I guess it was like a TV wire or something out from the carpet and then updating the, I don't wanna call them curtain rods, but they're kind of like curtain rods and take those out of the wall and just do something more modern. I also wanted to go through and update the outlets because all the outlets were completely mismatched and needed some updating love. So I took all the multicolors out. That's the first thing I did to start the project was remove all of the outlet and switch covers along with the old curtain rods and hardware. After that, I took this masking liquid that I got on Amazon. I will link it down below and I started painting the glass on the little uh, built-in cabinet so that I could paint the detailing on the cabinet door without painting the glass. I wanted to start this because I knew I would be dreading it, so if I did it and let it dry, I could easily go back through later and fix it. I also removed all of the insert pieces, like the crossing on the windows, so that I could paint the glass on the big windows too. I then used Interior Semi Gloss Ultra Pure White by Bear to paint all of the trim here. So the floor trim got this, the ceiling trim got this, all the windows got this, and then everything for the built-in got this plus the doors. If I would have painted those doors, that's the same paint the doors got. We went through and just started painting all the trim to start. I really just wanted to get the first layer of trim done because I know for a fact that it needs two coats and I just think it's easier to get the first coat out of the way to start the process. I know a lot of people would say, oh, paint the walls first. I didn't. I wanted to start high like at the top of the room and move down. So painting the trim, while we were doing that, we kind of overlapped onto the ceiling because the ceiling was of course cream and we wanted to go through and paint the ceiling white. So we used the Ultra Pure White by Bare their ceiling flat paint so that the ceiling could be brightened up. And while David started on the ceiling, I went through and started painting the walls around the trim. I used this little tool I got it from Home Depot. I absolutely love it. It's a paint edger. It is amazing. I will never go back and tape things off and then use a brush to paint trim. I absolutely love this little edger thing. I know some people do not, but I do. The color we use for the walls or this is the same color we used in quite a few other rooms in our house. We use the Eggshell Bare Ultra Polished Marble. I love this color. It's not a white it's more of like a cream, but it's like a nice bright cream and I really like it. After going around the room and painting the edges, I went through with this patch and paint 
lightweight spackling to go and patch the holes that were left by removing the old thermostat and removing the old curtain rods. I also smoothed out other parts of the wall that needed it. And then a lot of the next couple steps were just paint. Paint, paint, paint. Paint the ceiling, paint it again. Paint all the walls, go back through, paint them again. It was just lots of painting overall. This project took forever given why we started it in April and it's now November and I'm just now sitting down to tell you guys about it. The next step after all of the painting, I went through and changed all of the outlets. Before I started doing like renovations and fixing things around my house, I thought that it was so difficult to change an outlet. As long as you turn off the electric, this has been such a pleasant surprise how easy it is and I remember setting myself a goal at the beginning of this year that one thing I wanted to learn how to do was switch outlets and switches and I am so proud of myself that I accomplished that and I know it's like no big deal um, once you're like in the home improvement world but like that was a big deal for me to learn and I'm proud of myself because this was the first project that I went through. Well, I guess I did my living room too, or my dining room too, but I called my dad and asked for help multiple times with that. Everything in here I was confident enough to go through and do on my own, including the light fixture, which we're getting to now. This old light fixture was not great. I really did not like it, but I ordered this new one on Amazon. It was super affordable. I love that it has five different places for light bulbs so that it could be nice and bright given that it was the only ceiling light in this room. I would absolutely recommend this light. I will link it down below in my Amazon shop. It was super easy to install myself and I love it. I also got these Edison bulbs on Amazon. I really do like the bright white instead of the yellow tint for bulbs so I get the daylight bulbs because I I'm obviously a YouTuber. I just like how they look in camera better. So that's what I have all around my house and they've made such a difference. I also use these same bulbs to replace the old yellow tinted bulbs I had for my lamp. Again, I think they make a world of difference. Some people would not like these in their living room. Next, I went through and removed all of the painter's tape from the wall and then I headed outside with some spray paint. I used a primer, a white gloss paint, and then a dead flat durable top coat to go through and spray paint the vent and these removable pieces that go in the window. In the past, I went through and hand painted all of those by leaving them in the window and then having to peel this stuff off the glass. So glad I didn't do that. So much easier to just take them out and spray paint them. I swear you learn so much from each project that you do. Before going to put them back in though, I went through and on the window after I had painted it, I removed the masking liquid. This was super easy to remove this time. I think it's kind of hit or miss depending on some of my projects that I've had in the past, but it worked really well this time. Once that was done, I put the frames back into the window and put the vent back into the wall. I also went through and added the covers to the outlets and switches. And then it was time to rip out this cord from under the carpet. To do this, I ended up ripping up all the edging of the carpet. And at first I was pretty upset about it, but then I realized I still had to paint the bottom trim and it was a heck of a lot easier to do without carpet in the way. I took some of the packaging that I got from this box that delivered my mirror and I used it to prop up the carpet for easy access to this trim to paint and dry it. After this, all of the quote unquote renovation, I know it's very simple, it's just painting, work was done and it was time to decorate. I made a trip to Ikea and I bought new curtain rods, uh, holders, end caps for them. Everything Ikea just sells it all separate, separately and I absolutely love these curtain rods. It was super affordable. Um, I also picked up some yellow curtains from there. I really wanted this room to be like bright and sunshiny and colorful. I don't know now if I love, love, love the curtains. Um, I actually just ordered a different pair to replace them for Christmas because I don't like the yellow vibe for Christmas. But beside the point, we went with yellow to start. So these are some of the pieces that I got from Ikea. And then I went to work on mounting the curtain rod. I really love how this end look looks. The only thing that I would probably change is that I would like shorter curtains because these hang onto the floor excessively. And I don't know if I love, love, love that. But it's fine, whatever. The next thing I did was start adding decorations. So I added our race bibs onto the wall. David and I are each trying to run a half marathon in each of the 50 states. So these bibs are, you know, part of that journey. And this is kind of like also a traveling room. So we love those being up there. They add color. 
and they're fun. The next piece of this being a traveling room is this map. I actually got this map on Amazon. I will link it in my Amazon shop down below. I love this map. We actually bought it for our old house years ago, our first house ever, and we were going to hang it in our bedroom. But as soon as it got in the mail, I laid it all out on the floor and we decided we were going to sell our house and move. And I did not want to go through the process of hanging this up just to take it down. So a couple years later, here we are, and it is finally up on the wall. This was a tedious process. It was actually super easy to like lay out and like put on the wall. Like the website of this company was super descriptive and like the instructions were clear and everything super easy. However, um, getting both sides of the double stick tape stuff, that was just very, very tedious. So it took a long time to do this map and put it on the wall. The next thing that we did was replace the TV. We upgraded. We had never bought a TV before. So this is our first like big kid purchase, you know? So we got a nice TV and we mounted it on the wall. I got a mount on Amazon for one of their like Amazon um, Prime Day deals. So I got that. I will also link it down below if you guys want to check it out. We really like it because it comes out and it like swivels and stuff. So it's really nice. After this, I finally, finally, finally finished painting the built-in cabinet. I just sanded and then I tried to spray paint it because I wanted the easy way out. Again, this has been a project that has been months and months and months in the works and I was just done with it. However, spray paint ran out, didn't work. So we ended up painting it by hand per usual. Used the same ultra pure white paint. It ended up being fine. We put our games in the bottom cabinet so that we have easy access to them when we want them. I ended up going to a bunch of different thrift stores over the past few months. I knew I wanted colored glass in this little like built-in because you can see it and I wanted to bring color into the room. So something fun. I went through it and made kind of like a rainbow glass uh, display in this cabinet. And I really do like how it turned out. Super cheap way to add some color to your home. Other than that, um, I went through and got some new blankets. This one was $5 from a bargain store close to our house. This one's from Ikea. We got lots and lots of pillow covers from Ikea. We got a new ottoman. I also hung our display of medals on the wall, also from our half marathons. Just added different things to make it nice and cozy. We kind of changed the vibe up. I like it. I do. But I think I've just been in this project for so long and I'm like, it's December 1st is in two days. And so I'm just ready to get it like Christmas winter wonderland in here. So I'm like, I love it. But at the same time, I'm ready to <laughs> change it. But yeah, I also added a mirror to the corner. Huge, huge, huge transformation. I love that mirror so much. David was like, why would you put a mirror in the living room? And now every day he's like, I love the mirror in the living room. I'm like, you do. Moving on to things that I still have not finalized or that I would still like to change renovation wise. Um, back in the corner behind the tray tables, I did not remove like the old telephone jack or whatever from the wall. And so I literally just painted around it. It looks awful. Luckily we have something blocking it, but I wasn't sure if I could cut those cords. Like if they were still hooked up to like any sort of electric, like it was a bunch of like different stuff. Um, I can, I just haven't gone back through and done it yet. I also would like to get the like tracking stuff or whatever to hide the cord for the TV. Right now it just dangles down and it just looks um, messy, I guess. And I'd like to hide it. And then I would also like to securely mount the thermostat to the wall because it's not. I'll just say that it's not, that's it. But other than that, I think it turned out pretty good. I am, you know, I'm satisfied with it. So. And that is pretty much it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you want to subscribe to my channel, I will be bringing this room to life with a winter wonderland theme here in a few days. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye!